Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about our planet Earth. Where we are living? Where we are living? We all are living on the Earth. Why? Because the Earth has water and air, which is exist for human being. These are the eight planets, aren't they? These are the eight eight planets, aren't they? First one, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Now we are living on Earth. Why? Because the among these eight planets, the only Earth has air and water, which is very essential. And exists to live human human being, animals as well as plants. Let us learn about the earth. Earth. Earth is made up of land and water. Earth is made up of land and water. Earth is made up of land and water. What is the percentage of this? This hundred percent earth, earth has consists of twenty nine percentage of land and seventy one percentage of water. The earth is consists of land and water. This twenty nine percentage of land. Has been divided into seven continents. Seven continents, and this seventy-one percentage of water has been divided into five oceans. Five oceans. Then water continents. Water continents. Continents are called a large land masses. Where the large land masses are called a continents. A large, large means very big, very huge. Large land masses are called a continents. There are seven continents. And what are oceans? Large water bodies. Large water bodies are called oceans. Not a, a small river and a pond. It, it is not called a ocean. These all include a very large water bodies are called a oceans. On the earth, there are seven continents and five main oceans. Why? Because the earth has consists of land and water. What is the percentage of land? Twenty nine percentage of 
land and 71 percentage of water in the seven continents do you know how many continents seven continents what are they first one is asia australia africa north america
because why because on the earth earth means a small model earth is a small globe is a small model of the earth already we learn 71% in the 100% 71% is of water on the earth then only we are seeing most of the part of the globe in the blue color the remaining part colors are these are the continents or the land percentage the 71 percentage of water most part of the globe is in the blue color the remaining colors it will indicate the land land part it is a 29 percentage of land 29 percentage of the land the land has been divided into these continents already we need we read about these continents seven continents and five big oceans a globe is a small model of the earth whatever on the earth it will accurately perfectly as it is shows on the globe it means the globe is a small model of the earth globe is a small model of the earth whatever on the earth it will accurately shows on the globe Uh, there are seven continents asia asia this is the asian continent asian continent this is the asian continent and uh, this is upper side it is a europe europe continent and uh, it is africa the continent of africa and it we it is a north america and this is south america and this is a australia as the continent of australia and a, this is this small continent is a this small landmass is a antarctica which is the largest continent do you know children asia is the largest continent asia is the do you see do you can you see on the globe asia is the largest continent asia is the largest continent and this is australia is the smallest continent among those seven continents
the blue color this all blue color indicates a water body 71 percentage of water Mercury, Venus, Earth, 
Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto is not now. Now the Pluto is not considered as a planet. The Earth, the Earth only suitable for living. Then we are living on the Earth. This Earth has been divided into the Earth consists of land and water. What is the percentage of land? Twenty nine percentage of land and seventy one percentage of water. This twenty nine percentage of land has been divided into seven continents. Those are Asia, Australia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, and Antarctica. Among these seven continents, Asia is the largest one, and Australia is the smallest one. And what about this seventy one percent of water? This seventy one percent of water has been divided into five oceans. One is Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and Antarctic Ocean. Among these five oceans, the Pacific Ocean is the very largest one, biggest ocean. Okay. And in the older days, the people believe that the Earth is flat. No, it is not a flat. The Earth is just like a small, in the shape of spherical. In the shape of spherical. It is proved by Copernicus and as well as Ferdinand Magellan. He proved that the Earth is not a flat. It is in the shape of spherical. The two end points of the Earth, just like bulging, just to slope, just to bulging. These two end points, these two end points are called poles. These two end points are called poles. North pole and South pole. Always the top of the Earth, a map shows north side. And the bottom of the map are at the south. These two end points are called the the two end points of the earth are called poles. Poles. The top one is north pole. The south one is the south pole. These are the two end points are called poles. These are two end points are called the south pole. And uh, on the middle, so many imaginary lines are passing through the earth. Imaginary lines. One of the imaginary line, it is uh, dividing the earth into two equal halves. It is a imaginary line. It is a not perfect line. It is an imaginary line which is dividing the earth into Perhaps it is called. It is passing on the zero degrees. Zero degrees. It is passing from the zero degrees. This is called a equator. Equator. It is an equator. It is dividing this earth into two equal halves. Half means a mean. Sphere means place. Sphere means place. The two equal halves are hemisphere. I mean, two equal hemisphere. From equator to north pole is called northern hemisphere. And from equator to south pole are called southern hemisphere. From equator to north pole has ninety degrees. From equator to south pole has ninety degrees. This is an imaginary line. It is an imaginary line passing from the Earth on the zero degrees. It is dividing the Earth into two equal halves. It is an equator. It is an equator. It is passing from the zero degrees. It is dividing the Earth into two equal halves. Half means semi. Hemisphere from equator to north pole are called a northern hemisphere. From equator to south pole are called a southern hemisphere. The equator is dividing the earth into two equal halves. Those are northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Those are the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. The equator passing from the only on the zero degrees. 
the north pole on the 90 degree the south pole on the 90 degree from 0 degrees to north pole or northern hemisphere from 0 degrees to south pole are called a southern hemisphere 90 degrees look at another globe look at another globe it is a girl here in the middle in the middle it is a 0 degree from equator to this is north pole it is a south pole from 0 degrees to north pole are called the northern hemisphere when we cut the orange equal part just like the earth is divided by the equator on the 0 degrees two equal halves two equal halves two hemispheres from 0 degrees to north pole are called northern hemisphere from 0 degrees to south pole are called the southern hemisphere these are the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere which is dividing the equator is dividing the earth into two equal halves half half means hemisphere hemisphere northern hemisphere 0 degrees to north pole northern hemisphere 0 degrees to south pole southern hemisphere we can see the extent shape of extent the continent the two end points of earth are called poles the top is north pole the bottom of the globe is called the south pole and imaginary line the trans midway between the poles are called the equator equator divides the earth into two equal halves the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere children if you possible, if you have a textbook with you, page number 6, you can find from page number 5, this world map. Here it is, oceans and the continents are there. And the same picture in the page number 6, if it is possible with your with the books with you, you can color the same colors from page number 5 to page number 6. This is activity task for FA. Okay, task for color the continents green and water bodies blue. Name them. Same as this, you can draw from page number 5 in the page number 6. Let us uh, know about our uh, all are looking these lines, no? These lines and boxes. These are called latitudes and longitudes. Let us know about the latitudes and longitudes on tomorrow. Okay, children? Okay. Have a nice day.